Like when Californians go to the polls next month, they'll be voting not just to choose a senator and a governor, they'll also be voting on a host of ballot measures. One of those measures, Proposition 23, would delay California's global warming law. Backers of Prop 23 say the law would cause jobs and stifle the economic recovery. Advocates of the global warming law say it's a smart way to transform the way California and the nation use energy. Joining us now, Alan Salzman of Vantage Point Venture Partners. His firm has more than $5 billion in capital committed to alternative energy, and he opposes Proposition 23. Mr. Salzman, welcome to Bloomberg News. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Sir, why does your firm oppose Prop 23? Prop 23 seeks to effectively repeal AB 32, California's landmark clean energy legislation. And in so doing, it seeks to turn back the clock, not just for California, but for the whole country. Since this law was passed in 2006, we've seen half a million new jobs created in California. Seven of the 10 largest clean energy companies in the country situated in California. Right. And firms like ours have committed $8 billion to start up and enterprising companies in this sector. So, in a sense, so it's a huge component. So in a sense, sir, what you're saying is there, there's nothing wrong with the current system, leave it alone, this could throw a wrench into it? Look, we've got to move forward in modernizing antiquated ways that we currently generate energy, manage our resources, do our lighting and switching it over to solid state lighting, change our vehicles to electric vehicles. This is the industrial revolution of the 21st century and either we're part of it or in this country we watch the rest of the world race forward and leave us behind. Now opponents of uh, Prop 23 say that in fact it has cut down on jobs but also they talk about rising electricity costs as a, a net effect of this. In an economic environment where as you well know California is in, in tough shape in, in terms of unemployment and people out of, out of work, I mean how do you respond to that, that electricity rates might rise as a result of this? Well, the law hasn't taken effect yet. It doesn't for some time. So a little bit of this is premature. But the essence of it is, where do you think the new jobs of the next 20 and 30 years are going to come from? Those of us who are active in this area believe, and we think we have the evidence of the last four or five years to point to it, that moving to a clean energy economy is the wave of the future is the place where you create new jobs if we try and cling to the old you know it's the equivalent of trying to cling to horses at the turn of the century and resisting the move to automobiles it's the equivalent of resisting the great price declines that we've seen in everything from our cell phones to the flat panel tvs on the wall I you mean, can't put your head in the sand and go backwards i have to ask though i mean on wall street they call it talking your own book i mean isn't that oh in a sense what you're doing in this case and also a lot of the other Silicon Valley entrepreneurs that have put their money behind uh, opposing Prop 23 in that you've invested a lot in these businesses. But it begs the question as to which came first. You know, we're not trying to advocate for a clean energy economy because we're investors. We became investors because this is the greatest economic opportunity of the 21st century. Think about it. We have the freedom, as do the other folks, to invest anywhere. We focus and have for the last 30 years in the technology universe. The reason there is so much interest, there is so much activity, there's billions of dollars being invested in this space is because it is the most fundamentally sound economic proposition right. and investment opportunity. Uh, Mr. Saltzman, we have about 30 seconds left. What do you fear is going to happen if Prop 23 passes? What I fear is, as goes California, so goes the country. California has been at the vanguard of movement in this area, and if they're successful in repealing AB 32, we'll set back the nation. The rest of the world is not going to sit still. Activity will progress, and the sole effect of a setback in our clean energy economy is to disadvantage the United States vis-a-vis -vis the rest of the world. All right, Alan Salzman of Vantage Point Venture Partners joining us from San Francisco. Mr. Salzman, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.